if Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger. Welcome to a new Let's Play everybody, I'm doing a Let's Play for Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the PlayStation 2. I haven't done a Harry Potter game in forever, so I thought it was about time that I did one and you guys want, want to see this, so that's why I'm doing it. So let's get straight into the game and let's go to the Barrow. See you after the, the cutscenes here at the start. to the burrow, Harry. Did any of you ever give a thought of how worried I'd be? Beds but, but... empty, no note, car gone. Oh, Mom, I crashed I... out of my mind with worry. Did you care? Never. As long as I've lived. But, Mom... Now get outside and start denoming. I've had it up to here with all of you. Except you, of course, Harry. I'm not cross with you. You ready to do a bit of denoming then, Harry? Well, I'm not sure, Ron. I've been with Dursley so much this summer, I'm a little rusty. So, this is Harry, Harry Potter. He's the one you play as in this game. We are just starting with the introduction, how to play the game, stuff like that. You need to learn some second year magic to be able to ring the bell, which means that your spells will get stronger. This is a birdie bot every favorite bean. Uh, you use the beans to buy things at Hogwarts, so keep collecting the beans. You will use them later. That was truly smashing, Harry. Oh, you know, Harry, you can cast Flipendo on a whole bunch of things lying around the burrow, and if you do, you might be surprised at what you find. All right, so we're just going to pick up some more beans because uh, why not? And then we will follow Ron and Fred and George into the barn. There are gnomes everywhere. Look, they're off in the rafters. Okay, Harry, target the little pests and flipendo them off the rafter. So we're just going to use flipendo to try and knock these gnomes down. Just trying to hit them and not hit the sack, the sacks that are just standing there. Is are they called sacks? I think so, at least. That was pretty good, Harry. You've got the little pests on the run. I feel like this is going really quick. That we're just doing this really, really quickly. But um, get some more beans because, as I said, you will need them later, and follow them all out. Harry, we'd like you to meet our horse machine. Huh? Dad tried charming it. Now it's anything but charming. This is a good opportunity to practice some dueling. Dueling? And keep moving around it and cast a panda when the door is open. Don't be scared, Harry. It won't so we're having a boss battle against the Weasley's washing machine. Washing machine. 
yeah, the washing machine. Uh, it's fun, it's alright. What you need to do is just stay away from the washing machine when it's shooting at you. And then when the washing machine opens its door, you will want to shoot the pendo inside it. And that's basically how you defeat the washing machine. It's very, very easy. I've already defeated it. That's how you do that. That sorted it, Harry. I'd love to see that in Art Petunia's kitchen. You look like you need a chocolate frog. Here you go. You'd have to knock the frog out before you can catch it. Right, let's go throw some gnomes. But before we go into the garden, I want to collect the chocolate frog, even though we don't really need it. Get some more beans over here, you can actually shoot the duck if you want to. Collect this bean and you want to climb up here because you might have seen when you were inside the barn that there is the wizard card right up here. So collect that, that is our first wizard card in the game. Let's see who it is. So there are 101 wizard cards in the game totally and each time you collect 10 wizard cards you will get more health. And this is your remember all, uh, this is where you see things you're, to ha you're supposed to do, the tasks, the map, the inventory and also your quests. So yeah, that's what's inside your remember all. But now let's go into the garden. We need to get a move on with the denoming. Mum will go mad if she finds any gnomes left in the garden. Look, there's one over there. What you have to do is flipendo them until they're dazed and confused. Wow, I've got to try this. Then you grab hold of them and spin them round. And chuck them out of the garden. Nice one, Fred. That went miles. So we're going to do some denoming now. Um, there are a few things you can do right here. Just pick up the gnomes and you're supposed to spin them around like this and just throw them out. Uh, you might have seen that I was trying to hit that target. If you hit that target you will get a wizard card. That is why I'm trying to hit it. There is also another target to the right. I'm going to hit them both so that we can get wizard guards. That's the first target and the first wizard guard, wizard like guard so. And then we're going to find another gnome. Here's one. He just knocked me over. Try and be careful, guys. So um, go over here and try and hit the target. Just try your best. I actually do find the whole denoming thing a bit difficult. It's not like it's super difficult, but it is a little bit tricky, I find at least. Um, so just try your best. And I didn't hit the target, but this time I didn't hit it either. Let's try again. Pick up this gnome, and let's see if we can try and hit the target. Yes, I did! Fabulous! That's the target hit. And we get another wizard card for that. So all we have to do now is to try and beat Fred's record. And if you don't make it now, you don't worry, you can actually do it before you end the day. Which is exactly what happened to me. Um, for example, you you see, I'm just trying to throw this now. But for some reason, I hit the target again. Which was quite annoying. It's late, boys. Time for bed. Big day tomorrow. Diagon Alley, then platform nine and three quarters. For someone who's never denomed before, you've done an excellent job, Harry. Almost as good as Gilderoy Lockhart himself. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley.
So we don't have to go to bed yet, but when you have finished all of your task, you're just going to end the day. You can tell you finished your task when the rememberal is flashing, which is just it. But we need to beat Fred's record first, so get your gnome and throw the gnome as far as you possibly can. Which I'm going to try and do. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I beat at him with 10 points. That's great. So we now have four wizard cards and we've done absolutely everything we can do um, this far into the game. So we're just going to end the day and I'll catch you guys in the next part. Mrs. Weasley woke them all early the following Wednesday. She took a flower pot off the kitchen mantelpiece and everyone grabbed a handful of flu powder. Harry had never travelled by flu powder before, and when he scattered the powder into the fireplace, he immediately swallowed a lot of hot ash. <coughs> Diagon Alley! It felt as though he was being sucked down a giant plug hole. Harry tried to keep his eyes open, but the whirling made him feel sick. He closed his eyes, wishing it would stop, and then he fell. <laughs>